Hello everyone, my name is Zach, I am The Traveling Man, and welcome to the fourth vlog from here on board Celebrity Ascent. I'm sailing on her very first cruise ever, and it has been a great first couple of days on board. Now we're actually in her very first port of call today, the only port of call this cruise you can see behind me here. We are in Cozumel, Mexico. And it's a busy day in this port. I'll go over on the other side of the ship in a minute and show you. But in this vlog, we're gonna wrap up our time on board Ascent. I'm gonna show you uh, a day in port. I'm gonna show you a sea day. So come on if you're ready. Let's get this adventure on board. The brand new Celebrity Ascent started. I just wanted to show for anyone who might wanna get pictures and stuff of the sign. Uh, this is deck 16 right up here. Where you can see those stairs are coming from. That's the walking track right there. Uh, and you'll be walking right under the sign. If you take these steps here, you can come right down here. They have a lot of loungers out here that they can put out on a sea day. But you can get really good pictures of the ascent sign from here. Uh, and at night, this is probably very beautiful lit up. In fact, that reminds me I need to come out here tonight and get a picture. But I uh, just wanted to tell you that. Let's take a view around this way to look at Cozumel. It's a beautiful November day here. Late November yesterday was actually Thanksgiving. Uh, but you can see the sun is out this morning. It's a blue sky day. Uh, a lot of folks out on the ship this morning walking around. So it should be a fantastic time in Cozumel today for me to stay on the ship. So I've walked over to the other side of the ship now and you can see we have company. Uh, right next to us today is the Harmony of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. That's one of their uh, mega ships docked right next to us. There's a ton of ships. Uh, if this big ship wasn't here, you could actually see the Carnival Pier right over there. It is full. There's a couple princess ships. There's a couple carnival ships. And then behind us, uh, we can't see up. There's another pier over there with MSC and a Norwegian ship. So a busy day here today in Cozumel, which uh, I think is just about typically the case anymore. Cozumel is one of those ports that you're just bound to visit if you go on a cruise. I'm actually looking for breakfast because it's about 9.30 now. And uh, I'm actually gonna do my ship tour today. I try to do ship tour videos. Uh, and by the way, that one is already on the channel by the time you see this video. So if you wanna see that, go back and watch my ship tour video uh, the first ship tour from onboard celebrity ascent i usually try to do those when we're in port because a lot of folks get off the ship the decks are emptier so people are always like oh in your videos it looks like no one else is there that's because i do that on purpose because i try to have as few people as possible in my shots uh you know i don't like getting people in my shots and stuff that's just you know i want to protect people's privacy as much as i can so yeah i'm going to film my ship tour here today so i need to go get some fuel and energy so i can do that and while we are up here just want to go ahead and show you the uh the pool deck not a lot of people, there's a few people already out, but uh, I can't imagine it'll be too crowded today. I think a lot of people will probably opt to go to the beach over sitting by the pool here on the ship. But uh, yeah, not a, not a lot of folks. And like I said, it's uh, it's almost 9.30. So just in the solarium now, I did want to highlight another great option for breakfast, which a lot of people might not uh, be too familiar with or know a whole lot about, but it is right here inside of the solarium. And I'm talking about the spa cafe. We're gonna walk right over here and get a, better view of it. It's sort of tucked back here in the very back of the solarium, but they do have like ladder fare for breakfast. They also have juices. Um, you see they have milk here, water and ice. Uh, the standard juice machine that they have all over the rest of the ship. They also have a coffee machine here. And then you can see they have like zucchini muffins, uh, different wraps and bagels and fruit. And they have an assortment of fruit here. And you can also get smoothies made here as well. And those will be additional costs, just depending on what beverage package that you have. I think they're included on premium beverage, but not classic package. So I'm now here on deck four in the main atrium. And for my breakfast this morning, I'm actually going over to Le Grand Bistro uh, because the Captain's Club breakfast, if you uh, remember the Captain's Club and you're eligible for the Captain's Club breakfast, they have that each morning until 10 a.m., which is actually pretty late um, compared to some of the other venues on board that they do have that open. So I'm gonna go here now. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of my breakfast and what I get. But it's usually lighter stuff. You're not gonna get eggs and pancakes and waffles and things like that here. Uh, but you can get like specialty coffees and I think they even have offer cocktails and bagels and things like that. But uh, it's a lot less people than it is up at the buffet and some of the other venues on board. So let's go get breakfast. <music> Surprise, surprise, the Eden Cafe was actually open for lunch today, which I'm shocked because normally uh, they're not open at lunch when we're in port and we're in port today. So uh, maybe it's a new thing they're doing on Ascent. They're going to be open more frequently. I hope so because I love it. So I had to come down here, got the sandwich of the day, which is a prime rib sandwich. And 
that looks good. With some chips, and y'all, I tried for the first time ever one of these chocolate chip cookies, and I've already had one. Uh, I'm gonna be guilty and say this is my second because these are so good, like addictively good. Better than the other cookies at Cafe El Bacho. So uh, you have to try these and eat in Cafe when you come on one of these Ed Sherry strips because these cookies are legit. It's now been several hours since I last talked to you. It's been a busy day for me, uh, but I did want to show you that we are selling away from Cosimo. It is 6 p.m. and most of the ships have left already. Uh, you can see the Carnival Pride. Well, you can't see it, but I can see the Carnival Pride, an MSC ship, uh, and another ship. I'm not sure what that is. And then the uh, Norwegian ship up there. Looks like it's leaving as well. So everyone's leaving. It's almost time for dinner. I did get off the ship just uh, for a little bit earlier because I wanted to take some footage of the new ship. You know, this is the first port she's ever been in. So I went off to take uh, some photos of that, some video of that. So I went all the way over into the port area outside of, you know, the immediate pier uh, and then took pictures for maybe five or ten minutes. And I'm going to put a clip in here showing you what waited me when I got ready to get back on the ship because we were in port beside the Harmony of the Seas carries over 6,000 passengers. And mind you, I got off the ship about 4 p.m. Uh, so whenever I was trying to get back on the ship, there was a huge line of people. It took about 30 minutes to wait in that line. And most of those people were on Harmony of the Seas waiting to get back. So it was just crazy. So that's another reason why I haven't been on one of those mega ships and might not because I don't like waiting in those long lines. Uh, there was a lot of people trying to get back on that ship, though. It's crazy how massive that was compared to our ship. Good morning from a sea day. The last day of this preview, pre-inaugural cruise on board the Celebrity Ascent. I am moving furniture with my foot right now to make it over to the uh, Infinite Veranda here. I am not going to open it because you open this window, it'll get hot in here, and that air conditioner will take all day to cool back down. It's a nice, cool 69 in here right now, and I wanted to stay that way. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you the view out here. It's a lovely morning as we sail. Between Cozumel and Fort Lauderdale, we're somewhere uh, north of Cuba, south of Florida. And I know what you're probably thinking, like, whoa, that was a time jump. It was last night, now it's this morning. Pardon the whiplash I've probably given you from the time jump I just did, because it was yesterday evening, I think, the last time I spoke to you on this vlog. And since then, I've done a lot. I was busy working and editing and getting a video out. Um, so that really took up most of my time yesterday. I didn't get to vlog as much as I would have liked to. But it was a nice evening on board. I'm gonna walk you through what I did yesterday evening. Um, I went down to the main theater because they were having a show called Rebel, and I thought it was maybe a stage production show. Like it, it read like that in the in the um, I forget what their uh, daily planner thing is. At any rate, it was advertised as this like rock show, and I've seen celebrity do that. It seemed they like doing those. There was production shows which uh, feature a lot of rock music. So I was like, sure, I'll go down there and check that out. It was like a a cover band that had come on board. They were pretty good. I stayed for a few minutes and watched them. Not really my thing, uh, but they were good. And um, then I went to dinner after that. I actually went to dinner in Normandy last night because Normandy is another of my favorites. Normandy is the main dining room here on board the ship, open to anyone. And it was really good. It was lobster night last night, so of course I had to get a piece of lobster. I also had the beef wellington, so both of those were on the menu together, and I'm like, one of each, please. And those are very good. Actually, all the food I had was good. The bread was fantastic. The appetizers, I had like a creamy, smoky tomato soup. Fantastic, really love that. Of course, I had to get a Caesar salad. Folks will ask me, they will send me messages on Instagram and say, you didn't get a Caesar salad, are you okay? Because they know I like a Caesar salad on a cruise and sometimes I don't always get one and they worry about me. But I did get one last night and it was good. And then for dessert, of course, it was the classic baked Alaska and that was good. And then after dinner, I went back to the main theater it was packed because it was the second Rebel Rock show, and folks were loving it. They were like clapping the house down, they were screaming, and it was wild. And they actually performed, I think, longer than they were supposed to, so it seemed like that was a really good show and folks enjoyed it. So no wonder Celebrity invites them back uh, very early each time they roll out a new ship because they get really good reviews from this rebel group so if they're on your cruise you might want to go see them because apparently it's very good but i went back to the theater because they had a late night comedy so i uh, love comedy so of course i was there for that and then i went to bed because i was tired had a long day yesterday woke up early this morning per usual 
Uh, it was still kind of dark outside, so I did go up to Ocean View Cafe and get breakfast. It was my first time actually eating in the buffet the entire cruise, so I did want to try out the buffet and see how it was. It was very good. Um, plenty of offerings for breakfast. The time I went, there weren't a lot of people, um, but you know, maybe when there's more people, there might not be as much food. But the food was all good that I had, and then now I just got back from taking a walk around the ship, seeing what's going on, and then doing my you know, 30 minute of laps on the walking track. So that's me settled this morning and it's only 8.30. I've done a lot already. Uh, it's gonna be a great day. Like I said, it is the last day of this cruise. It is the final sea day uh, of this preview, pre-inaugural cruise. Tomorrow, another one starts. Uh, really kicking Celebrity Ascent off just right. And I will say that things on this cruise have been absolutely fantastic. Haven't run into any major issues. No issues at all, really. The service, the food, has all been impeccable so a really good cruise so far and uh, i know it's going to be a great ending today so uh, let's see what we can get into on a sea day our last day here on board celebrity ascent so i was reading a comment earlier that someone said not enough people showed inside the shops uh, on celebrity cruise and what they had so uh i thought i would just show a little bit um of what you can buy this is called sense of self and it's uh hi it's the boutique they have uh, all sorts of bags available in here They also have jewelry and sunglasses as well. So uh, we'll just take a quick look at some of the shops on board so you kind of know what they have and what to expect. This is the FE shop. So of course they have jewelry and a lot of jewelry here. Uh, cases and cases of jewelry. And I know it's very popular for people to look at a lot of people like to buy jewelry when they're on a cruise especially if you've got onboard credit that comes with your package because you can use that even for jewelry and then coming next door this is uh, more jewelry but also the time is now shop which has a lot of watches a lot of men's watches um very high dollar watches and things like that and uh so these are the three shops that are here on deck four right across from the casino which is back here uh, we'll go forward on the other shops on deck four and show you those here in just a minute as well It is just afternoon. So just wanted to show you what the crowds like here in the main atrium Not a whole lot of folks. There is a few folks over at cafe albacho a few folks down at the martini bar But then look over here at craft social bar because this is a sports bar on board So all the guys are over here uh, Getting drinks and watching the game. You can see there are a line out the door of folks just standing there trying to see whatever uh, looks like some college football game is on because it is a Saturday. So now we've come up here to deck four forward and uh, this is the attraction shop. They have a lot of perfumes uh, and also some makeup, cosmetics, things like that in here. Uh, so if you're looking for something like that or maybe you forgot stuff at home that you didn't bring with you, you can get that here on board. And we'll continue walking. I think all these shops are connected. Here's like a, I don't know what you would call this, I guess like a boutique. They have uh, other jewelry and bags. A lot of jewelry and accessories over here for the ladies. And then they have swimsuits, so maybe you forgot your bathing suit at home. Don't worry, you can get that here. And then next door is the uh, general merchandise shop. This is where you're gonna get your Celebrity Ascent branded stuff, other Celebrity Cruises branded shirts and hats and mugs and all sorts of stuff. Right now, I showed this the other day in a vlog, but they do have some inaugural season hats and t-shirts and things like that. And those are going really fast. A lot of folks have been uh, buying those really into those. They actually have a long sleeve jacket here with Celebrity Ascent inaugural season on it. And then they have gotten into having these spirit jerseys. I've noticed that on a lot of Celebrity Cruises that I've been on recently. But they do have one here. It just says Celebrity. It doesn't say Ascent. I don't think they have any that say Ascent. But this one is $69.95. More jackets and stuff here. These aren't really celebrity branded. More general celebrity branded stuff over here. Hats. You see a lot of people wearing these hats right here. Um, these hats are $25 each. Take home a mug. Be the envy of the office, I'm sure, with a $20 Celebrity Cruises mug. Another nice hat here. Let's see if this one's also. Yep, also $25 for that one. And then they have stuff for the kids over here. They have some stuffed animals, more water bottles and mugs here. And then they do have some ship models. I wanted to show those 
I actually bought one and showed that in a video the other day, but just in case you missed that. Oh, there's more hats. That's a nice hat. The blue and the gray. So it looks like all the hats are $25. I think we've settled that. Um, let me go right around here to the ship models. Uh, and keep in mind that they probably have a limited amount of some of these. These are probably fine. And I will say, um, that looks very well painted. That looks very good. You should see the one that I got. It, it's rough. Uh, once you get actually inside the box and see these things, they can look kind of rough. Um, I think the crystal ones, I think they're crystal, uh, right over here. These cost more. The ones I just showed you are $69.95. But these right here are actually going to uh, cost you more. But I think these are actually limited in number. So if you want to get a model, if you want to get a, you know, any of that, you might want to get that early on in the cruise because they probably do have a limited amount. You know, they don't want to sell out on the first cruise or the first, second, third cruise. So they're probably only selling a limited amount each cruise. So make sure you buy these, make your purchases as soon as you can when you're on the ship so that you can ensure that you're going to get what you want. Because you can see, uh, I've noticed the number of these have dwindled over the past few days. All right, so enough of the general merchandise here's some more here's some tommy bahama stuff here they got some nate burkus and celebrity cruise uh sunset collection because nate burkus actually designed the sunset bar so they do have some glasses there uh sort of uh similar to some of the designs you see out at the sunset bar they have a whole collection of stuff actually here looks like from nate burkus uh, more clothing and stuff more stuff for the men over here maybe you forgot stuff for formal night or just want a different fit when you get on the ship different outfit uh, you can buy that in here and they have more watches here too so pretty much everything that you might want you can get here in these gift shops that are all connected here on the ascent now we got one more to go um, it's right here and this is the uh, like tax and duty free shop essentially this is where you can get alcohol they have all the different sorts of alcohol um, they usually have cigarettes. They do have cigarettes back there. Uh, the thing about this alcohol is, though, don't think you're going to buy this and then, like, get drunk on board with it because they will confiscate it until you get off the ship. So any purchases of alcohol that you make while you're sailing on board the ship, you don't get it immediately. They'll take it, and you'll get it back when the sailing is done. Um, so they still want you to buy those drink packages. You're not going to get to uh, have free reign of the alcohol here in the shop. Okay, so Celebrity is showing out today because they were having a premium seafood buffet, which I've never seen them have before, but they actually had lobster. I have three lobster tails here. Uh, got off the main buffet. They had uh, shrimp, all kinds of shrimp, sauteed shrimp, fill and eat shrimp, and then fried calamari, and tons of other seafood offerings to it. It's very deluxe, maybe just for the first sailings to celebrate that, but I've uh, never seen anything like that before. Never seen them have such deluxe offerings before. So uh, who said the food quality was bad? Good afternoon. It's currently 2.45. It's been a very eventful afternoon on board the ship. Went up to the buffet. Wasn't even expecting to. Here is how crazy that was. Someone actually posted on the Facebook group for this cruise and was like, y'all need to get up to the buffet now. It's crazy. I'm like, what is this? I want to I wanted cover it. You know, I got to get this for content. Uh, so I go up there. Y'all, they have like premium seafood. I've never seen that on Celebrity before. Never seen that on any cruise line on the buffet. They were handing out lobster tails. And it wasn't like get one and then charge, like pay us $17 for another one. I asked for one and she was like, just one? And I'm like, well, give me three, you know? Put some butter on there. Let me get some of the shrimp. And uh, I already showed you what I had in that plate. And it was delicious too. They had fried calamari, which is a personal favorite of mine. I was not wanting to eat lunch today because I'm going to uh, Rooftop Garden Grill tonight at six for dinner. But who can pass up that type of a buffet? I think they're probably just having it because it's like the inaugural season, you know, um, the, the first cruise, the pre-inaugural cruise, and uh, it's probably more celebratory than anything. I don't think you can be expecting that uh, on every cruise, but it was nice to see, and it was very nice to uh, taste and get to eat. After that, I went to the officers versus guests volleyball game. They have this about every cruise on a sea day. I'd never been to it before, though, but it was very cool, so I'm going to insert some clips of that right here. And uh, you'll get to see how fun that was. And I'll catch up to you in just a little bit. Like I said, we're going to Rooftop Garden Grill for dinner tonight. There's going to be a brand new show, the world premiere of Awaken, which is a new show here on The Ascent. It's a stage production show. We'll see that. And then we'll close out this series from here on board, Celebrity Ascent. So uh, stay tuned and let's see what we get into this evening. Here we are hanging out just above the resort pool deck, which is right over here. Uh, after a fantastic meal at Rooftop Garden Grill, I 
love it even more every time I go. I've been on Apex, I've been on Beyond, and now I've been here on Ascent, and it just gets better and better. I try to try something different every time that I go, and I'm glad that I do. I really enjoyed the meal that I had tonight. I had the dry rub wings for my starter. I've had these before. They're kind of a tried and true trusty go-to and I really enjoyed having them again. And then I went with a Caesar salad. The Caesar salad is always good at Rooftop Garden Grill. Something good about having a refreshing salad, you know, in, in the cool environment of Rooftop Garden Grill. Because the thing about Rooftop Garden Grill is it's supposed to be like an outdoor cookout that you're at, you know? So I really enjoyed that. And then for my main, I went with the WTF burger. And WTF is absolutely correct because the thing is massive. I did eat it all because I don't like wasting food, but uh, that was a huge burger, but it was delicious. One of the best burgers I probably ever had on a cruise ship. And then for the dessert, I had the s'mores in a jar and that was fantastic as well. So really good dining experience at Rooftop Garden Grill once again. And now it's almost time to be off to the show to check off Awaken for its world premiere here on Celebrity Ascent. Turn around here a little bit. I uh, got a little bit better lighting here. And also you can see the resort pool deck back here behind me. They've been doing something different with the lights. I don't think they were doing this on Beyond, but they actually have more lighting features out here on the resort pool deck. Uh, they actually had the lighting synchronized to music. So I think they're gearing up for more deck parties. You know, they want to do more deck parties. They want to make this environment out here, which you never see anyone at night on any of the edge ships out on the pool deck at night. It's always so empty as you see it is right now. I think they're trying to make it more, uh, you know, inclusive for everyone. They want everyone to come out here at night, have more deck parties under the stars at night. Uh, and I think that they're uh, doing that with the lighting and with the music and everything. They've been testing some stuff and it looks really cool. They did have a party out here last night, the mega deck party. It rained most of it out and I didn't actually make it to it. But uh, I think they're going to be doing more deck parties and that's really cool to see celebrities step up and, uh, you know, have an atmosphere for everyone because I think the... Uh, perception out there for most people is that celebrity is like tired old people hanging out going to bed at 10 and, and usually that's me but uh it's not they're uh, appealing to all sorts of people especially when they're here in the caribbean you get people of all ages from all different backgrounds and all walks of life and that's really cool and uh i'm just glad to see all these new additions here on this new ship from the show the show tonight was awaken and it was actually the world premiere of that show and it was a really good show a really good last evening on board tonight is also uh well it's uh 10 15 right now so uh starting at 10 30 i think they're gonna have silent disco in the main atrium uh they're having another show in eden tonight so a lot of entertainment here on board the ship i am just so tired i have to pack i have a very early flight in the morning because it is the end of our cruise here on board celebrity ascent folks have you enjoyed seeing the celebrity ascent as much is I've enjoyed bringing it to you. As you know, if you watch my videos, I love the Celebrity Edge class of ships. I always say they're the best ships at sea, and that couldn't be truer of Celebrity Ascent. It is now my favorite cruise ship anywhere. Sorry, Celebrity Apex, but I love Celebrity Ascent. It's been fantastic. I'm sad to be leaving, but uh, onward and upward, we're ascending. Uh, see what I did there? We're ascending to... Uh, other cruises very soon so thank you so much for watching this vlog series it's been a fantastic trip i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed this video please go down below give me a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to the channel because i have a lot more cruise content to come very very soon new cruise lines and new places that i've never been before and if you like the celebrity edge series ships don't worry because i will soon be on a celebrity edge series ship down under thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you on the next adventure